Hello dear students welcome to IMS Gate Academy Today we have Sanjeev with us he has secured all india rank 1 in biomedical and all india rank 492 in instrumentation engineering So first of all Sanjeev many many congratulations Thank you very much sir Just tell us about your complete preparation journey when you decided to prepare for the gate and when you joined the IMS Gate Academy for the same Yes, yes sir uh, actually my uh... choice of uh, the first time i ever heard about gate exam was in 2019 february when i was in my 12 uh, because okay. i did not qualify in uh, iit je so i thought IIT that JE. maybe to join higher uh, institutes mm -hmm. like uh, gate is the option and then i got serious about it when one of my friends recommended about uh, the gate academy actually one of my seniors have also secured all india rank 1 and 2 and they were from the gate academy they are from mechanical okay. Okay. Uh, so through them i got to know about uh, the gate academy which is now yeah. ims gate academy. so i joined it in 2020 uh, hmm. but since that time it was covid so i wanted to join offline but all the classes were uh, being held online uh, so i joined for the online batch hmm. and uh, uh, i started my preparation from i think uh, 2020 july or uh, i think august okay. Okay. Now my next question to you how ms gate academy helps you to make this rank sir uh, so actually i uh, gave my first attempt in 2022 itself Uh, okay. so that time i was just barely able to that was in third year so i was just barely able to clear the cutoff for instrumentation i got around 2400 rank uh, okay. and in 2023 also uh, like my college uh, is uh, one of the one among the top colleges in bangalore so we have a lot of workload there also so okay. Okay. i had to manage both of them and i found it a little difficult so even mm -hmm. in 2023 my performance wasn't good uh, i Got two thousand seven hundred rank in EC and two thousand one thousand one hundred rank in IN. Uh, okay. So after that, I decided that um, I will give one more attempt for gate because my aim is to get MTEC. And mainly, IMS Gate Academy was very very helpful for me throughout my journey because all the materials, all the concepts that I've learned are mainly from IMS Gate Academy teachers mm -hmm. itself. I can definitely say that like it was very helpful because uh, it gave me a clear in depth understanding. and the teachers are also very friendly they are so uh, nice to us and they also clarify doubts very actively so it has really helped me a lot and even for 2024 it was mainly like uh, self study so even that time i was having all the notes of that the teachers had given us in class so on the basis of that itself i prepared for 2020 so that is why we always uh, insist you to create the classroom note your hand written notes only will give you yeah. ultimate yeah. confidence on the subject yes, so sir. my next question to you sanjeev uh like what factor motivates you to write the gate exam for biomedical yes sir uh, sir actually what happened was uh, i had already taken an elective in college uh, in sixth semester which was uh, biomedical instrumentation so uh, after studying that subject i got some interest in biomedical area and then i got to know that there is also one paper in gate uh, biomedical so based on that i uh, decided of attempting uh, biomedical in 2024 because uh, uh nowadays all these biomedical engineers are also going into core electronics jobs like system design electronic system design robotics okay. and all which is the upcoming field in india so that was my motivation to take biomedical okay so i have one more question uh, how many subjects are common if i talk about instrumentation ec and biomedical do you think that some subjects are common yes sir many like actually i can say that seven to eight subjects are common like control signals oh. Uh, ah, maths. Achha. I mean, uh, maths is there everywhere, but yeah, control ah, signals. Maths, maths aptitude is <laughs> anywhere there. Huh? Yeah, analog, digital measurements, uh, and uh, a little bit of sensors. Okay. Uh, so these are the common subjects for. Uh, very nice. This, very nice. Uh, yeah, I N and B M, uh, and the yeah. rest uh, I had to study. Uh, so how our uh, material helps you? So when you attempted the chapter test problem, if I talk about the practice question, yes, when sir, you yes. when you attempted. Uh, sir uh, actually like uh, i was not able to focus much on test series sir because my preparation for biomedical started late in october 2023 uh, but this is my drawback i can say because i want to give advice to future aspirants that don't do this mistake which i had done i have done uh, but coming to exercise book i i solved few of them uh, which whenever i had time uh, and i really found them helpful because uh, level 1 was easy and then it gives us motivation to level 2 and then uh, we you know in level 2 uh, like it really helped me to find out very very small points that i missed in class notes i would have written it but i have not focused it for example while finding the energy of some signal it is usually mod of the signal 
but uh, i while while doing it in the exam many a times i did not take that modulus but those kind of points were uh, uh, involved in the exercise book so all those silly mistakes got corrected there uh, so nice. it was very helpful for me. what i have noted na some students when they join the gate courses na they are very much excited and enthusiastic about the course yeah. but they are yes. not able to make themselves consistent because uh, okay. because like once once the two subject over once the three subject over it is very difficult parallelly to revise the past subject and yes, also attend the live classes parallelly yeah. according to you how a student should revise the subject yes sir sir uh, frankly speaking now uh, this strategy may vary from one student to another but it is uh, advisable that okay for example today if i have learned something then if there is a class tomorrow then before like one or one and a half hours i must revise what has been done today and it should digest like i should assimilate yeah. it in my mind and then i should grasp the grasp the whole concept then solve all the yeah. problems that teacher has solved now what happens is if there are multiple things coming up like some people have semester exams or many other commitments that time uh, what we can do is that sorry after the semester exams at least we must revisit the subject and uh, talking about in general if we talk about revision also best thing is that once uh, let us say that one subject is completed then uh, we will start the other subject in the due course of that second subject let us say that one day you don't feel like uh, studying that new subject then the best thing to do instead of wasting time is go back to the old subject solve some problems revise the formula it will give you confidence and then again you can come back to the new subject and yeah, preferably can. at the beginning of every month you can set apart 2 to 3 days for revision of old subject that is what mm -hmm. can work probably that good so uh, do you have ever thought that uh, you can make a all india rank 1 I uh, said, like, I did not uh, expect <laughs> this, but uh, like uh, after writing the exam, also I was like, I I saw that I'd made many silly mistakes uh, and many calculation mistakes. So I was not yeah. expecting all India rank one. I thought it would be under ten at least, uh, worst case. Okay. okay. Uh, but then it turned out to be one. Very uh, nice. My next question to you, Sanjeev, like, how you have managed the three R pressure? Sometime now we are even confident as far as subjects yes. are concerned, and because you already attempted the last year also. So definitely you have learned a lot from the last attempt. But my question is how you have managed the three-hour pressure? What was your mindset that time? So, uh, the pressure was there even in me, sir. Like because when I was uh, first time when I uh, sat for mock test, uh, literally my head started paining and I started sweating because I made that uh, environment that this is a very real gate exam even for mock test. So uh, it and uh, naturally because of that, I did not perform well. That pressure that huh. was there in the head. So after that, like my mother and my parents and my teachers counseled me that, uh, you know, we must not think about the results like Krishna tells in Gita that we should just focus on the work. Don't uh, just yes. let it be whatever rank you get, whatever yeah. marks you get, it doesn't matter. Just yeah. give your best and do it for the passion of it. So yeah. when it came to the actual exam also, I had in my mind that I don't know what rank results I'll be getting. But mm -hmm. it is it is in I have to give my best. So what I started after seeing the paper is that uh, I would suggest all the aspirants to do the same. Uh, there is one small uh, uh, logo on in the official like when we sit for the exam, the CBT, which says question paper. So if you click on that, we can actually see the whole paper. So my first five or seven minutes, I think I spent scrolling through the whole paper so that that will give an idea that whether the paper is easy, whether the paper is difficult. So once, if it, if in case it's easy, we must gain confidence and be extra cautious mm -hmm. about the so-called easy questions because there is high probability to make mistakes. If it is exactly. difficult, then we should think that, okay, if it is difficult for me, it'll be difficult for everyone. So my aim should be to solve uh, as many questions as I can, even if it is less, but it should be correct because we should not exactly. make silly mistake in that case. So I attempted all the easy questions because Jay Prakash sir had once uh, made a video on YouTube uh, that was very helpful to me. He said that uh, we should go three rounds in the entire gate paper. First round should be that we should see some questions and we'll know that, okay, even without using probably pen and paper or just in one or two lines, I can get the answer. So attempt that first. Next is that it is easy or it is medium. I need a little bit of thinking and then I will solve it. Last one is that like it, it looks difficult. So I'll push it to the last and I will solve it at the end. So very nice, I categorize very nice. it in this one and then I attempt it. Yes, very good, Beta. So same point I have... We we already we always suggest our students to always try to first uh, attempt those questions in which you are comfortable. So at yes, least yes, first yes. go through to first twenty five question and try yes. to attempt those questions which you are able to solve in one click and yes, even sir. some question without using notebook and pen yes, because sir, exactly. some question intentionally examiner has framed yes. like that those yes. are actually easy. 
so yes, that sir. you should save your time and you should you should just gain the confidence on the same correct sir so yes, it, sir. it can be like that ki maybe the second question you are able to attempt then after seven question then after 14 then after 18 then after 20 like that you can go and even in the first one hour if you are able to solve 20 to 25 question where yes, where if you think that ki, sir, those are easy questions, maybe some of you from aptitude, some of you from maths. So definitely it boosts your confidence. You can also share uh, your experience to the to, to your juniors. Whoever will watch this session, we are just uploading the session and upload on, we are just recording the session and upload on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So whoever will watch this session, they will have some kind of takeaway, some kind of learning from it. So whatever your experience, definitely there is a scope of learning from juniors. So you just summarize overall your suggestion. What you what is what is your suggestion to your juniors and those who will write the gate exam in 25 and 26? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, my main suggestion is that don't repeat the mistake which I did. The mistake which I made was I gave test series very late. I did not give any chapter wise test, nothing. I just directly started off with a uh, full length mock test. That too, I started very late, I think January 13th or 14th. Uh, so what happened was that uh, I made many silly mistakes and uh, it, it actually takes time to correct all those silly mistakes. So what happens is that if we start the, taking a test uh, after completion of a subject, then we can correct it then and there itself. But what happened was that there were many silly mistakes and few of them I was able to correct and few I was not able to correct. So I did not reach up to that level of accuracy in the gate exam, in the final gate exam. So this is my advice that please take timely mock tests. Uh, they are very important. And uh, in fact, many are questions, like many are concepts, they can be repeated even in the gate exam as well. So this is okay. one advice that I would like to give. So very nice, Sanjeev. Uh, thank you for coming and uh, uh, good luck. All the very best for your future. And uh, we you. wish that uh, uh, definitely you will get whatever you want in future. You will definitely get the thank success. You. you deserve it actually. Because you have you have secured all India rank one and instrumentation also 492. So what is your future goal? What is your plan now? Yes, sir. Uh, now I'm preparing for the interviews at uh, IAC IITs. And then I will pursue MTech or MTech by research. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Sally, all the best. Thank you for coming. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you very much. Sir.